Look out, punks, the corn dooders in town, corn dooder! Welcome back to the Flash Punk tutorial series. Today we begin a brand new saga, the Coin Duder Saga. Let's jump straight in. Um, we're going to make the game Coin Duder. What is Coin Duder, you might ask? Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty simple concept. You're the Coin Duder. you got to dude all the coins before you duder fire. So, let's get started. The first thing we need is a world for our Coin Duder to run around in. Alright? So let's go ahead. You notice that I've already got Flash Punk. I got, as always, from useflashpunk.net. Get the latest version right there. I've got some images and all that great stuff. And these are free to download. Um, and you can download the source file here. If you want to jump in yourself, uh, check the comments below. Or the info. or I don't, I don't know what's going on down there. Because uh, I'm still recording it and I've not typed any of that out yet. But it'll there would be a, a region just... Alright, world. Let's do it. Add. New class, boosh, package, worlds, and this will be game world. Don't want to complicate things yet. We want to extend from Flashpunk's world class. Hit okie doke. Now we got our game world. Main game world for the coin leader. Great. And if you saw the first t tutorial, you learned about how to write some words on the screen. We're going to go way beyond that this time. So we got our game world. Let's go back to main. After we initialize, we're going to set our flash punk world fp.world. We're going to set that equal to game world. Make it a new game world. A whole new game world what we make when we type that. Alright. So we're thinking, well, alright, we got our game world. This is great. Um, and the game world's where coin duder's going to duder his coins, so we need a coin duder. Well, let's let's go ahead and, and do that. Dude that. Don't dude it. Just do it. Follow along. I'm going to make a new class. We'll call it coin duder. And he's going to go in entities because he is an entity, and we're going to be using the Flashpunk's entity class to to do some coins here. So let's browse for that. In Flash develop, you should just be able to type in entity, find it pretty quick. Boosh, coin duder. There he is. The coin, the the dutiest. Duder ever. That'll help us remember anything about him. So, we can't see the coin duder because he doesn't have a picture yet. So, um, it just so happens that in our assets folder here, we have, um, yeah, we got player one. So, we're going to use him. In Flash Develop, this is very easy. You just right click and say generate embed code. And this is just a standard PNG. So you can see now we have this embed, and that needs to be a variable. So we'll make it protected, uh, static, constant. Cause it's not going to change. We only need one picture across all of our coin duders, and um, yeah. So we'll name it coin duder. Let's see. Art Coin Duder. Why not? The trick here is you want that to be a class. So now we have this embed. This is actually going to embed this PNG into our flash file when we compile it, which is great. Now we're going to actually need that image, so protected var image now we'll, we'll call it like player image and that's going to be an image 
again from the Flashpunk image class. Now image extends graphic. Um, it's basically just a graphic with all the perks. You can spin them around, you can stretch them, squash them, transparent, all that good stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and throw that in there. So now, what what do with Coin Dude? Well, we are going to have to set up his player image, his graphic, all that great stuff with our entity. So the very first thing we need to do is just see the guy on screen to make sure that we're not going insane. I think I am, but we're going to do this out. So as far as the constructor for Coin Dude goes, we don't need to put too much in there right now. We're going to do some work when the coin duder is actually added to the world. So in the constructor, we'll just create player image. And that's going to equal a new image. And surprise, uh, we pass in art coin duder. That's it. That's going to make our image. So, overread, added. This is the function that's called whenever an entity is added to a Flashpunk world. Now in Flashpunk, the entities are the guys that are going to be, that can draw pictures, have collision, do all that great stuff. So between world and entity, these are really your bread and butters. So the first thing we're going to do is set our graphic. Now, Graphic is part of the entity class and it is what gets drawn. And that graphic is going to equal player image. Boop. Alright. Save that. Game world. So now we need to add this guy. Protected var coin duder. He is a coin duder. Let's put an underbar up front. This is protect this protective variable. Let's do samesies here. I gotta type proper code for you guys. So you guys know that I'm I'm a programmer. I'm not just a regular old grammar. Beep boop, there we go. Hokey dokey. So now, similar to entities added, world has a function that's called when it begins. It's called begin. So we want to override that. Let's put a comment in, in here. The world has begun. Call coin duder. So we have our variable here. Coin duder. He's going to equal a new coin duder. Now, if we run it now, he's not going to show up anywhere because he's not part of the world. The world has a reference to an instance of a coin duder, but he is not a member of this society yet. So let's go ahead and invite him on into our world. We're going to add him to our world. You'll notice that add takes an entity and also returns that entity once added, which can be convenient later. Right now, we're just going to add coin duder. Coin Duda. That's not his song. I don't know why I keep singing that. Let's go ahead and try it out. Build failed. Oh, can't do that. Let's use debugging. Flash develop failed me. Game. Now it's going to add that import. That include. Import. This one. That was our problem. What? There he is. What's he doing? Well, nothing right now. Um, I guess we need to move him around. 